Hi, I'm Steven, and I'm bad at art. But even though I'm bad at art, I also believe that through deliberate practice, persistence, and a willingness to fail, you can get better at pretty much anything. And over the next 10 days, I'm gonna try and get better at ceramics. The goal of the next 10 days is simple. I wanna go from being someone who has never thrown a piece of clay on a wheel in my life to making a gorgeous, fully functioning ceramic bong. I have no idea what I'm doing, and apparently making ceramic bongs is very challenging, so I think this is gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, how difficult do you think this is gonna be? I guess I'll give it a 10. <laughs> oh no! This is Christian North. He's the co-owner of High Art, a Montreal-based company that specializes in making high-end, handmade ceramic bongs, pipes, and accessories. What would be the one piece of advice you'd give to someone who's starting ceramics for the first time? Just getting the clay into the center of the wheel uh, to the best of your abilities. Um, sort of a foundational step, and it'll just screw everything up if you don't get a nice centered piece of clay to start with. Today I'm going to try and figure out wedging and centering. Oh! This is nice. <laughs> I like this. Okay, centering the clay. Well. Oh my god, there's some growth! <gasps> this is so weird! I don't think I have centered it. Wow! Cool! Oh, I love this! Oh, oh god! Oh! All right, I think that went pretty well for the most part, other than the fact that my hands are like so covered in clay. It's day two of ceramics, and now that I've gotten a bit of a handle on centering, I'm gonna try and make uh, a bowl-shaped figure today. Well, I'm not as much of a centering pro as I thought I was last night, I guess. <laughs> it's gonna take some work. And so last night I was watching some tutorials and it turns out that I've been spinning this wheel the incorrect way the past few days, which is such a silly mistake, but honestly, I'm hoping that it's gonna make a big difference in my pulling attempts today. Uh. <laughs> <No>. <gasps> All right, this is the highest I've been able to get it. I mean, like maybe an inch and a half off the ground. I have no idea what's going on with the saucer on top, but I do feel like I'm getting better. Like I do feel like I'm improving. So the past couple days, I don't feel like I've been super patient with how I've been approaching this. So today I'm gonna focus on being calm, methodical, and just taking my time.
Hmm. Okay. Chunky boy. Oh, it's so big. <laughs> that is so difficult. My leg is actually cramped. So yesterday I got like pretty frustrated. So today the goal is really to just try and stay as calm as possible, try to enjoy it, and also make a freaking bong. Calm and firm. Okay. Okay, that feels almost perfect. Oh baby, I still got it. I mean, I think as far as a small base goes, that's pretty good. Wow. Okay, as far as I know, the key to making sure the ceramics stick to each other is that they have similar moisture and that there's a lot of surface area to stick to. Call this the rotten pumpkin bong. Man, I am proud of this. This is great. Okay, today is the 10th and final day. I'm trying to make a ceramic bong. I've already made one, but I know we can do better. And I'm gonna make a bong today if it kills me. I think that this is the best bowl I've made yet. Okay, as far as takeaways go for this episode, I think the one that stands out to me the most is just how much I enjoyed ceramics on some days and then other days, how much I just was so incredibly frustrated by it. You think you got it figured out, you do the centering, you do the lifting, and you're killing it one day, and then the next day, you can't do anything. But in a way, I think that's what makes it so interesting for me because I felt like I was kind of always on my toes. I always had to really focus on what I was doing. If I was to do this again, I would get a teacher to show me the basics for the first day. I think I spent about three days working on skills that I could probably learn in about an hour and a half with a mentor. So if you have the resources to get a mentor, I would highly suggest it. That being said, my experience with ceramics was overwhelmingly positive, and honestly, I hope to be able to continue to do this throughout my life. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Like, what do you think about the end product? Yeah, I'm really impressed that you managed to pull it off in only eight days, man. I'd, nice. I'd have to smoke it to give it the full <laughs> <laughs>